This farm right here makes me 2.6 billion coins a day, but it only costs 1.5 billion coins to build, making this way more overpowered than any LPC farm in the whole game. Okay, so we actually, to start off this farm, we gotta get all the deposit islands, and now we actually have a problem how we can only buy one every four hours, and now I'm gonna show you how to bypass this. So what I like to do is basically bring an alt onto this save slot right here, and I'll place eight vending machines here with 550,000 coins in each since we need eight gold and seven copper now basically I'm gonna actually quickly go and buy one on my account right here as you can see I've got 550,000 coins in my account all right so we're here at Jade the miner now we're gonna quickly buy these deposits so as you can see we can only buy one every four hours now let me actually show you how to bypass this system okay so what you want to do is go to the Microsoft store and then go ahead and search Roblox now once you searched Roblox you want to actually go ahead and just click on the first one and then you want to install the Microsoft version of Roblox now the Microsoft version of Roblox can actually make it so you can have your main account still on Roblox while opening a brand new one now you must have this alt account friended by the way and then once you have it friended you want to invite it to your save slot now if you're not on computer and you can't actually use the Microsoft version what you can go ahead and do is find any other device we can run Roblox in your house could be anything just to run Roblox so you can do this on multiple different accounts And that's pretty much really as simple as it goes All right, so now we're at the island We actually gotta go to profiles and profiles and actually click co-op with friends and then just invite my alt Now we're gonna go ahead and open the Microsoft version of Roblox Alright, so as you can see, my ult has just loaded in, and now all I have to do is just mine this vending machine. And once we mine that, we just gotta drop the vending machine so we can give it back to our main account, and then go all the way into the hub, and then just purchase those two, since the cooldown won't be on this account. And now you have to pretty much do this around eight times, but on one of those times, you only have to buy one gold. Alright, so basically, what we wanna actually go ahead and do once we've got all of these placed down is we don't wanna actually, keep, like, do all the drill stuff yet we want to actually go ahead and build down to the actual void so where if I go down one extra block I will completely reset to the top but firstly what we have to do is just build a tube here Alright, so now we've just gone ahead and finished building that tube, we are actually going to go ahead and start by building the actual smelting system. And um, one of my friends is going to build it, so it's going to be on their pub, so yeah, just try and follow along, but yeah, it's going to be just a little time slap. Okay, so basically we've just finished building the whole smelting system. So one of my friends actually built it since I didn't really actually come up with the design. Both of the shops names will be in the description and on screen right now with their code. So go ahead and join them if you see them published or anything like that. But they've built this for me, that's why I wasn't building it since I'm not really sure on how to build this. All I know is that they've come up with this farm design, so shout out to them. Now, basically after this point, after the smelting point, we've just got to connect all of these deposit 
islands to this main tube. Now let me actually quickly show you how to actually do this, it's pretty straightforward. So they've actually changed a little bit with it, but not too much. So all we need to do is place the conveyor with a coal totem, and then we actually need to build the path to that tube. Alright, so what we want to do is just basically build a staircase down, but there is a little bit of a twist to it. So what we actually need to do is put a stair on top, so then it doesn't go flying. So if you actually go on the top half of the stair and then you click rotate, you want to make it so it's kind of like a little cube right there, and then you want to do that for every single one. This just makes it so the, the ore can actually go down, but it can't bounce out. But then after that, we actually just gotta block it off by placing it like this, and then we just wanna do this all the way down to we actually get there. Alright, so pretty much how we just turn is just, you just go one block down and just put a stair like that, and it's pretty much straightforward like that. <laughs> Okay, so after two hours and a half, since we only had two people, and uh, well, we had three people, but then he actually went ahead and left, and then it slowed down the process a lot more. So definitely building this farm makes it a lot easier if you have friends. But other than that, um, it took around three hours to build this. And now this was just technical difficulties to actually go ahead and get this last gold one right over here, the furthest one actually to spawn in a good spot since we kind of already took up all the good spots right here we got pretty good spawns and yeah it took a while to actually do that and yeah it's just had some issues so yeah we finally built it and it is pretty overpowered